Hi, my name is Bruce Nightingale, co-creator of the PV Lifter. Have you ever wished for a less expensive, easier to use alternative to the pinball jack? Well, we have it for you. The PV Lifter. The complete package will be half the cost of the jacks out there today. It's easy to assemble, it's safe, and it's sturdy. But most of all, no more using these anymore. Once you've seen the video, you will be convinced this is the lifter you need. Bring your uh, PB lifter. You want to get your Craftsman Jack, which is a serial number 50190. As you can tell, this is how it comes shipped. You can get it at any Sears store in the United States or Canada. Pretty heavy, but you know, we're going to show you how to put it all together in a few seconds. After getting your PB lifter, you're going to get one of a uh, couple of items. You're going to get the PB lifter in the box, you're going to get instructions, you're going to get a bolt kit. And you're going to need a couple hand tools, which will be a half inch, get on them, half inch, two half inch wrenches, and a large flat screwdriver. The instructions are pretty simple, but we're going to go over them anyway in the video for you. Now my dad's going to take open the box, and we'll show you how easy it is to actually uh, get everything all set and set up your PB lifter. Use your instructions, follow the instructions if you like to setting up your jack. It's pretty simple. That's the handle. The bottle jack. The option, and it comes with uh, straps in case you do want to use them on your machine. We'll show you how to use it both ways. That's your release, that's your pump up handle for the bottle jack. jack you're going to need one nine sixteenths just for the bottle jack part to mount it onto the jack so that's going to show you Bruce senior is going to show you actually mounting the bottle jack I'll loosen up the two screws. Remount the battle jack. You want to mount the face of the bottle jack sticker towards the front of the jack. and tighten those puppies down with your 9 sixteenths. You can use the open end, you can use the box end. Let's get them nice and tight. Now what he's doing is actually releasing the safety braces. I'm going to come over and help him out also. Lower this down. They're actually 
lower mount the top jacking area and locking that down. So tighten up the second bolt. So the three tools you will need is a large large flathead screwdriver, 916 open in their box, and a half inch, two half inch open in boxes. After that you want to put the pump up for the jack, you just slide that in, and you tighten that bolt down. If you can get it started, that's a good thing also. Okay, and tighten that down. Same 916s. Put it on the safety locking bar. Same uses the same 916s. It mounts to the front. Slips through the two holes on the edge of those locking bars. Pump it up a little bit just to access the holes so you have a better reach and grab in there. As I said, another good thing about the uh, jack, it does have a one year warranty, so hey, it's better than what you get out in the field. You get out, you know, a regular pinball jack or anything. So if the bottle jack's bad, go to your Sears store. So here you go, guys. Next thing we're going to do is pop off the uh, rubber tops. Allow the mounting of the jack. Allow the of the jack. So let me uh, zoom in a little bit on Dad. Hold on there. Okay. And once you do it, you either pry up and just pull it right off. Pry underneath and pull it right off. You can re remount these if you want to. Again, if you do want to use the jack for anything else, this is really nice. The Let's handle. Get... Handle. To this locking bar. Let me get zoom in on that. And then the pin goes back in to lock it in place. When you are storing this, you do you can take it in or out, which is a nice added feature also. Some people have their bar mounted one way, some people have it upside down or right side up as you would call it. That's all up to your preferences. So the jack is ready for the mounting of the PB lifter. Correct. This is the PB lifter powder coated now, professionally made. We were making the ones in our garage, me and my father, but now since the van's gotten so high, we're actually getting them sent out, pre-made, and powder coated painted so it's extra durable for your pinball needs. Mount the PB lifter, lay it on the jack. With your nuts and bolts that are lying on the ground from Bruce Senior, you're going to use the uh, fish the nut up from the bottom with the thread go up to the top, then put the flat washer, then the lock washer, then the nut. You should, when doing the front bolts, you want to do it while the jack is in mostly the lower position. And we'll go to the next one.
Then you want to use your two half inch wrenches, one on top, one on bottom, and tighten them so they're pretty good and tight. You don't have to go crazy with torque, you know. Just enough to lock down the lock washers. Yep, so it grabs. You can also use a ratchet if you want. That's up to you. But if you open in boxes, you know you'll get them in any angle that you have to. We're going to jack it up so we have access. To the back bolts. You have to jack it up completely all the way up. So it's all the way up. Fish the bolts in the same way. Flat washer first, then lock, then nut. Pretty easy so far, isn't it? Sometimes it needs a little persuasion, but you'll get it right in. And tighten these up, just like the front ones. And there you go. You now have a PP lifter, all ready for your enjoyment. That's all done. If you do have any questions with your installation, or if something doesn't seem right, or if it's not working right, please, you can always contact us. It's, the number is going to be in the beginning and at the end of the video, and it's also included with the box with the instructions. We are always able and willing to answer your questions. Also notice how it's mounted. The PB lifter is actually a little tilted, so it's a little taller on the front than at the back. Please mount it the same way when mounting it onto your set so called you know on your jack. And we're gonna measure the height of the lifter, total height. I'm gonna get it up there and reel it in a little bit and see what we have. Twenty nine inches. Twenty nine inches is the total height. Fully extended up. So release the brake. Junk it up a little bit. Let down. And now the compressed height is 18, is 18 inches. So you have an 11 inch from lower to upper. And you can nice thing about it is you can stop at any time. With the other jacks, it's only up or down. And now we're going to show you how it is on the side view. So you can see how it works. The good thing about it is you don't have to go multiple levels. You can go just as much as you want, just a little up, or you can go all the way up. Once it's latched, you're set.
and then you can let it back down. No harsh landings either like the other one, like the Wyco. Go nice and down, right to its rest position. Now we're going to be lifting up a wide body gain. And you want to push it underneath the gain, but not too close so you're not damaging the front of the machine. Start pumping it up to what desired height you'd like to have it as. Once you're at the desired height, just slide it right on out. You can push it back in. Line it right up. And lower it down. And if you notice, I keep my game nice and tight, so I'm going to fit more of my game room. Okay, now the next part we're going to show you is uh, the optional wheel kit. First, as you see, with the stock wheels, the height is a little less than an inch. So you only have a gap of one inch between the floor spacing, the floor, and the jack gap. Now, with the optional wheel kit, which we do sell, you'll see now, first, how to install it if you do purchase it. And second, what you're going to need and how much clearance you actually truly gain and how much more stable the jack will become. Optional wheel kit, you see there's uh, the rubber coated wheels, they're four inch in diameter, steel and centers. steel centers, so it's a lot stronger wheel and you'll see it's more stable actually for the lifter also. So now uh, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need 11 16 wrench for the back and a three quarter inch wrench open end combos for either one and you can either use a another three quarter inch wrench or a water pump pliers water pump pliers so you can do your wheel kit also and uh, to replace the front wheels you just want to get a piece of two by four just to lift it up a little bit so it's almost like a a lifter on a lifter <laughs> okay on that note you're going to need the crescent on one. Remove the old wheel. Comes right out. For the new one, you want to take the nut off. And I'll let Bruce Sr. continue since he's closer. And the spacer. slide the long shaft of the bolt through the first hole and put the spacer inside. You may have to tap it down a little bit because I've made it tight so it wouldn't collapse. The spacer goes in, in where the, between the holes. Where the wheel used to be. Put the nut through and then you put the Large washer on first, and the lock washer. Oh, I think I'm using the wrong washer on the other wheel. Use the large washer, then the lock washer, and then the nut. Then the nut. The wheel actually sits now on the outside right. of the jack instead of inside the metal slot. For more stability. Right, you tighten it down. The only drawback to this is it will not work with a safe cracker machine, Revenge from Mars, or a Star Wars Episode One, because the wheel and the jack is too wide. So if you have any of these three machines, or if you're planning to, you should start to. Uh, Think Moss possibly not getting the wheel kit, or you can take it off and on just for the front wheels. But we know these will not work, as we will show you in a few seconds with the safe cracker. That is over.
on the left hand corner. I just want to explain to them that this is a specialty on the other on the other kits it has a uh, carriage type hub instead of a bolt. You yeah. Clearance. So more clearance in between your legs. and then tighten that up too. And then tighten that up. Can't over tighten it because it's got the spacers in it so that no matter how tight you tighten these, it won't crimp the wheel and it's turning. Front wheels are done already. Work Take your forward. lifter out of your lifter. Dad spin around a little bit. Bruce Sr., but you can already see just a gap alone on the front wheels. For the back one, you're going to need 11 16 open end wrench, which he's grabbing right now. Well, three quarter. So it's already three quarter. To take off. 11 16 to put on. Okay. That's right. Everything on the jack is three quarter. Now when mounting the new one, you want to bias the back end. The holes go towards the front the machine. The front of the jack. Then you use your flat washer, your lock washer, and your nut. Then you gotta get your 11 sixteens. And we're going to do the other side now. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can have a little better. No, you didn't. Loosen it up. You can spin it. Make it straight. And now, pull out the wood. And you can actually see the difference in height right off the bat. You can actually see air underneath it. And I'm going to grab the tape measure and we're going to zoom in. Now over a half, a, uh, an inch and a half. Almost an inch and a half. Of, put that back down there so we can actually show it some again with it. Inch and a half. A lot more ground clearance. A half inch more ground clearance than you had before, which makes it easier for going over doorways and stuff doorways, like that. Doorways, everything like that. It really works well. Now with the rubber wheels, it actually moves easier and a lot less stress and not metal touching possibly your wood floors and everything. Rubber, nice coated easy. Really works well. And you can actually see this, the stance between the new style with the wheel kit on the right compared to 
for the old style on the left. You can see narrow base, wide base. Cracker, as you'll see, with the wheel kitted machine, it will not fit in there. So it's a warning to everyone if you're interested in ever buying a safe cracker or a Revenge from Mars or a Star Wars Episode 1, you might not want to go with the wheel kit, you might want to go with the basic thing. So now we're going to pull out Old Reliable, which is actually the prototype we made about, about a year ago. And as I said, out of the mother of necessity, which was killing my back, but once you have it in there, you can use the straps that came actually with the lifter, hook it right to the bottom. You can also, there's mounting points on the jack in the back, there's two hooks, and on the front, there's two hooks. So you can even crisscross it across the top of the machine. Really simple, really easy. Now what we do actually when I want to move or sell a machine or get it out of the basement, what I'll do is I'll lower the machine after I pull it out, fold the head after putting my cardboard on it underneath the headpiece, then I'll wrap the whole machine in cling wrap, jack it back up, take the four legs off, lower it all the way back down again, and then tilt it off the front of the lifter, and it's ready for me to dolly it up my stairs, which is about 15, which is not fun, up to the main level. So, let's put it back in, so I'm how easy it is. My dad's cautious with this one because it's mine. There you go. And if you notice on all my machines, I have them pretty close, which is a good benefit for anyone when you want to fit more machines in your house. That's a nice perk. You see how easy it is to assemble and you've seen how easy it is to use. So now, we're going to show you how easy it is to store underneath the machine. What you want to do is push underneath the machine, disconnect the handle from the lifter, and then push it on in. It's out of the way and ready for your next use. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope we'll be purchasing a PV lifter very soon. Thank you for your support.